Want an edgier McLaren 650S? You got it, is what McLaren said. Lotus reveals a street legal racing Elise that may or may not be coming to the US. Focus on the word not. And is a hybrid Jeep Wrangler in the works? Eh, maybe. Plus, Maybach could build an SUV. And it's Tuesday, so someone will be doing it wrong. They're ready, okay. Right. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? I am Derek D, and you are watching Fast Lane Daily on a Tuesday. <laughs> AK, what episode number are we working with? 2016, Derek D. You're right. And that's just the episode number. What's going to happen next year, Derek D? A uh, couple new cars coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Mercedes has just introduced the Maybach S600, or Maybach, as 50 Cent says, for a lofty 189 grand. And now they are rumored to be working on an SUV that will also carry the Maybach name. Yes, that's right. SUVs just everywhere. Based on the Mercedes GLS, the luxury SUV would likely be extended so rear passengers can have more luxurious legroom. Of course, there will be a lot of more onboard luxury and definitely more chrome. You need more chrome. You go an eye end, pack on the chrome. Now, not only is an SUV planned, but Mercedes may be planning some other Maybach models in the future. In other news, my lower Bach has been a little sore lately from doing all those deadlifts. You do deadlifts? Yeah. I mean, I do them right, but still, your lower back can get sore a little bit. <laughs> Sounds like you're doing them wrong. My lower back. <laughs> Jeep's next generation Wrangler is coming soon, so they are considering some engine options for the classic model. The latest suggestion is a hybrid to improve off-road performance. Okay, all right, all right, calm down. All you Jeep purists, we're just like, oh, come on. Hey, guys, you just got to embrace it. All right, not definite. We're just saying it could happen. Plus, think about it. The instant torque of an electrically assisted engine would help for rock crawling and off-roading in tricky situations. The obvious drawbacks for a hybrid system include the need to recharge, of course, when off-roading is inherently far from civilization. But, of course, you still have the gas or petrol engine to get you out of that sticky situation. So, hybrid Jeep Wrangler, I'm open to it. Okay. Yeah. Lotus has revealed a new version of its Elise, the S Cup, which the UK automaker calls a street legal race car, which is pretty friggin' sexy if you ask me. I like it, that's a nice S Cup. What makes it so track ready is its aerodynamic improvements, including a front splitter, rear spoiler, and side skirts. Inside, there's a roll hoop, which is basically a roll cage, and electrical hookups to install a kill switch and fire extinguisher. Power will be rated at 217 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of what, Erica? Torque. That's right. Ooh, I feel like it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. I felt rusty. A little rusty. That means the Elise S Cup will call 60 and let him know he'll be at his engagement party in just 4.2 seconds. So he'll be there. <laughs> oh, well, you want one here in the States? Too bad. Lotus doesn't plan to sell the Elise S Cup here, but on the other side of the pond, well, that's going to cost you about 66,000 bucks if you want to buy one. I think it looks cool. I like it. I like this lime green one. Looks cool. And it uh, looks like McLaren won't just save the GTR treatment for its P1 supercar. No. Dutch media has said the 650S will also get a GTR version with more power and less weight. In the 650S, the 3.8 liter twin turbo V8 makes 650 horsepower and 500 pound feet up. Torque. Okay, that was not rusty. That was great. Thanks. Excellent job. But the GTR would certainly have more grunt while losing about 220 pounds. That would make the 650S GTR weigh just 2,712 pounds. The GTR would also best the 650S's 3 second 0 to 60 run and 207 mile per hour top speed. Whoa, pretty fast. We'll learn more when the model makes its public debut at the Geneva Motor Show alongside the P1 GTR. So if you're uh, loaded and want to basically buy a race car, then this could be the car for you. That's all I'm saying. Got to have that cha-ching, though. Hey, 
It's time to, uh, you know, to make ourselves all feel better by watching someone else do what, AK? Doing it so wrong. That's so right. Here we have a guy in his white Ford Ranger who is helping to get his friend's Dodge Ram out from being stuck. So, a logical person would back up slowly, tighten up the tow line till it's pretty, you know, tight, then give it some gas and hope to pull the truck out from being stuck, right? But no, he does this. That was hilarious. <laughs> yes, that was hilarious. I love the way that guy says that. This is great. The dude just jammed on the gas and flies backwards, ripping off his front bumper. Not only did the front bumper rip off, but he went so fast he ripped off his tow hook. So like the metal just snapped. Either really cheap or just dumb. The guy filming is great though. Not only did he say, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. But then he says, That was one of the stupidest things I've ever seen. Yes, indeed, one of the stupidest things. The stupidest thing I ever saw. Well, why, why would you ever think that is the way to pull someone out? By jamming on the gas in reverse. Hilarious. He was going, he had to be going like at least like 25 miles per hour. I love that. Like right off the bat, boom. But hey, you did get your friend's truck out from being stuck, so that's a plus, but now you're gonna have to go to the auto body shop and the guy there will be like, hey, right, what happened here? And you're gonna suck it up and say to him, well, you see, what had happened was, is I was doing it wrong. That's why I need a new bumper and a new tow hook. I'm backwards at 25. Doing it wrong, Max. Oh yeah. Yeah. But the Yaris, that would have pulled it out. No problem. Oh yeah. Bumper stayed intact. There you go. You want to watch that? The link is in the description. All right. Our FLD question of the day is, do you think making a hybrid Jeep Wrangler is a good or bad idea? Just open it up to the floor. Opening it up to the YouTube comment world. You know, feel free to pro and con this, right? Use hashtag FLD, Q of the D, and let us know. Of course, you can send your own question or video into us, because we use them on Thursdays, to, uh, what's that email, AK? Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. That's the one you're going to have to get in touch with, all right? So, on that note, that's going to do it. For Fast Lane Daily today, I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching. A special shout out to big FLD fan, Sergeant Joey Barbosa. Third ID based in Fort Benning, Georgia. Here he is on his birthday recently, about to blow out the candles. And he sent us this picture of his 2013 Ford Mustang GT that he bought when he got back from uh, deployment. Pretty awesome. So thank you for your service, Joey. And also thank you for watching Fast Lane Daily. Tell your friends. Tell everybody. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Joey, Joe, yeah. same thing. Appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys. Here's to you. On a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Would that be two on the body? No, one. One, one. Whatever. It was my first rodeo? Baby.